This is a quick overview uh, of the video that follows this introductory segment. D uh, deals with a Dell E6400 Vintage 2010. Had a audio problem, and whenever you have a problem, it's for the first question. The answer is: Is it hardware or software? I incorrectly chose hardware, and it turned out to be a software issue uh, because it happened. On, I have a couple of these. And it happens after the update for Windows 10 1803. This subsequent uh, video uh, explains a couple of software fixes for that audio problem. This is a Dell 6400 that's running Windows 10 update 1803 and it has an audio problem of course, I didn't connect the audio problem with the update and, and went about and changed the audio card that's over at uh, this end here. Um, yeah. Uh, so let me boot this up, and so I'm going to put this on pause. If you go to the Windows settings, System about oops, you'll you'll find out what the uh, current version is. So this got updated to uh, 1803, and it has an audio problem, which can be demonstrated by this. So let me just pause. If you click on the speakers. See that little crackle? So that the kind of crackling noise that that's about every five seconds is something that we're going to get rid of. And one way to do it is to download an uh, older driver link that's in the show more. Or the other way is to go into BIOS. So I'm going to go into BIOS by shutting down and restarting. I hear that little kind of glint. Okay. Do you want to continue restarting? Yes. And then as it restarts, uh, hitting the F12. All right. So I'm at F12. Going to BIOS. I want to go down to BIOS setup. Enter. Go down to system config into miscellaneous devices and then over here by where it says enable eSATA ports I am going to click on that and apply and exit And now we'll see if that sound has gone away. So I'm going to pause. Well, let me pause it. Okay, so we're back to the home screen here. And let me activate the speakers. So I don't hear any crackle, and uh, I'll try. I'll keep. I'll listen to this for a couple of more days, and uh, if I don't hear any crackle, then I'll know that the fix has been done. Uh, I wish I'd known about this 
BIOS unenabling option before wasting a few hours changing an audio card.